This simulation shows how traffic would operate if the roads in Sullivan Square were redesigned as a signalized one-way grid. In the middle, the existing un underpass for Route 99 traffic has been retained, though scaled back in size. Crisscrossing the underpass are footpaths through a park that will cover part of the underpass. The traffic volumes you see are those projected for the AM peak in the year 2040, including casino traffic. That's 10 to 15% more traffic than we see today. Unlike the current traffic signals in Sullivan Square, which operate with a cycle of, of 180 seconds or three minutes, these signals operate with a cycle of only 60 seconds. Pedestrians wait only 20 seconds on average to cross the street. In a congested city like Boston, that is unthinkably good service. There's an alternative plan for Sullivan Square using two-way streets. Its cycle length has to be much longer because of all the left turn phases needed, making its average pedestrian delay about 45 seconds. The roads in this network have a small footprint. Most have only two or three lanes. Of all the crossings, only two span four lanes. The rest span three lanes. That stands in stark contrast to the plan with two-way streets which has several crossings of six and even seven lanes. For cars, average delay is only 11 seconds per intersection because the signals are synchronized to form green waves. That's something you can do on one-way streets. For buses, there's a bus lane from the bridge to West Street, after which buses will follow a green wave into Sullivan Square. Interestingly, the green waves also prevent speeding because a car going too fast will encounter a red light. Traffic flows smoothly and safely through the grid, held to a speed of about 17 miles per hour. Some changes are proposed for Beecham Street. The block from Maffa to Main Street is one way headed north, while the block from West Street to Main Street is one way headed south, with both feeding Main Street towards Somerville. One central block of Main Street will be out of the flow of through traffic, and so it can be rebuilt with a single travel lane and wide sidewalks. West Street has been realigned, forming the top of the square of traffic circulating around the overpass. The underpass emerges at an intersection with Arlington Street, which allows buses heading to the MBTA facility there to bypass the square. The intersection has been configured to support still more local traffic in case that part of the square is redeveloped. Sullivan Square needs a pedestrian-friendly street grid that will support transit-oriented development and make it a destination. This one-way grid plan achieves that goal in a way that the two-way plan does not. The small footprint of its streets leaves more space for development parcels while its efficient traffic plan has capacity for the traffic volumes projected for 2040 and more. Unlike the two-way grid plan, the one-way grid is pedestrian friendly on every count. Short signal cycles, short crossings, green waves that keep traffic at a calm 17 miles per hour, and easy, pleasant pedestrian access to the T-Station, the neighborhood, and the waterfront.